What's up, guys? This is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com. Hope everybody is doing all right. Thank you for continuing to support the channel. Make sure you guys hit the like button. For today's video, it's basically in response to a comment that was left on one of my most recent videos where I was discussing um, live imaging versus 2D sonar and that there is a way that you can use 2D sonar to track uh, fish behavior, track your lure, and just things like that that is actually a live setting or a live screen to where you can get the same results in a way that you get from live imaging. Um, that screen is called the RTS window, but take a look at this short video clip. Then after that, I will come back and show you um, on the screen itself how to set that up, the settings that I use, and then after that, I will put a few little clips in here so you guys can see some sonar scanning and things like that. But as always, make sure you participate in the comment section. Read the comment section. There's always a lot of good information in there. If you guys have questions or comments, I pretty much respond to all of the comments that are in the comment section. And in the description section, I leave um, links to the videos um, that will reference some of the material that I'm talking about. So make sure you do watch those videos and participate in the comment section. Let's take a look at this clip, guys. And see, that right there is like a tree or some brush pile, a brush pile or something down there. So when I drop this down there, watch that. Well, you can't see him now, he's not on the screen. But look, so you can see my bait going down. You see that line right there? Okay. And then it went down there into that red stuff. Mm -hmm. And like that's the brush pile down there. Mm-hmm. See, there's the fish again. So watch. You see this line coming up yep. right here? Yep. See that fish sees it. See him going down? Okay. See him going? He's chasing my bait now. He's chasing it fast. That one's probably going to hit it because he chased it fast. In that clip, I was able to spot the fish, see how the fish was reacting to my lure, see my lure and where it was in the water column, where the fish was at in the water column, and just the overall reaction of the fish to where I could tell that that fish was gonna hit that bait. I could watch that fish's movement and everything while it was in the water. So with live imaging, of course you can do that. With sonar, there is an advantage to sonar in that you can still use that in a way that will give you an advantage as far as being able to spot those fish, locate them and catch those fish. All right, so let's go ahead and get this booted up. Let's hit the power button. And all we are going to do is go into the simulator um, mode on here. And if you watched the previous video, um, under the tutorials for the electronics unit, you saw that I showed you how to um, set up your power supply and be able to run your units from home. So when this gets to this page, to that screen, we're gonna hit the menu button and choose the simulator option by just hitting the right arrow key. All right, and then we'll just give it a few seconds to finish booting up. And once this finishes, um, we will use the view button. And what that view button does is give you the shortcut to the menu, to a menu screen that will show you the different options for the screens that we're gonna be looking at. So for today, of course, we're taking a look at the RTS window. So we'll just go to this first option here, hit the right arrow key, let me hit that again. Hold down the view button, and then we're going to hit the right arrow key on sonar, and it is the first option. So we're going to use 2D view. And as you see, as soon as we do that, it'll go straight to the simulation mode where it will show us the 2D sonar. So right here is going to be your RTS window. In this section alone on the 2D sonar view, this is live. Everything that you see right here is actively happening. Everything back here is history. So um, basically what I have been using is this RTS window and that allows me to see my, my bait, my um, the lure as it's going up and down in the water column. I can see the fish. I can see the fish reacting to the baits. But the first thing, let's go ahead and this is something that you guys always want to get used to. Whenever you see the screen and it's not the way that you want it to look as far as clarity, Let's go ahead and get that straightened up. So we'll hit the menu button once 
and let's take a look at sensitivity let's kick that down some and let's take a look at contrast let's kick it up that way there we go so now we can see that screen is clearing up for us and it kind of gives us a better view of our our RTS window also all right let me see so now from here let's go into the menu button well let's exit out of this hit the menu button twice and we are going to head over to the sonar view so under the sonar view we can go down and just take a look at these diff different options clear mode that is something that can affect your 2d sonar so you can go to clear mode or max mode depending on what unit you have and what um, version of software that you have on your screen these options could be a little different but generally I keep this on clear mode and this is a helix g3 in unit so if that helps you guys out as far as determining what type of unit you have and if your screen may look a little different from this one but um, generally the settings and everything are pretty much the same so let's kick it on down to RTS window so what we'll do is just take a look at the different options under RTS window and what you will want to take a look at is this area right here as we change these so right now it is on color a scope and this one um, is a little clearer let's take a look at the color full it kind of gives a different look to whenever the, the images are coming across the screen and remember this is what is actively happening so you have that short window right there where you can see something that is actively happening and over time as you continue to use your RTS window guys you will get better with that it is just another one of those things like I always say you can't beat time on the water as far as learning how to do these um, different menu settings and just being able to use your electronics in general so let's take a look at let me see that's colorful there's mono I've never used that one before all right so mono let's go back the other way there's colorful again then we have a scope and off so those are the three options that are available on this um, current version but there you go that's with the RTS window off so like I said I use my RTS window all of the time and I will either have it on the a scope or pretty much I use the this um, option right here the color full and let's go ahead and exit out of here and just take a look at some of the things on the screen and let's just see what all we're seeing on here so we can see those bait fish that is now history um, so when you're in the boat this would be now behind the boat this is directly under the boat under the transducer so whichever transducer you're looking at if it's at the console then more than likely the transducer is going to be back where your motor is at if you're looking at the bow of your boat this um images that you're seeing right here in this RTS window are going to be directly under the the um the trolling motor okay so here we go generally when you start seeing that you know that those are can be fish those can be bait balls some type of structure those would definitely be fish right there so when you see something like that you can immediately drop down to that bait if you're using a drop shot or something like that or a Demiki rig just anything that you want to drop straight down to try to get those fish to bite another thing that you can do with this is this is moving pretty fast so let's hit the menu button and we have this set on a chart speed of seven so if you want it to slow this down a little bit let's go ahead and kick it down to about three and as you see it slows everything down it will show a it will draw a more detailed picture so everything will be more defined in there also so you can see at the top of that hump you can see the um, the fish and the structure and everything in there the cover that those fish are in that could be a old bridge piling or something like that but um, again all you're doing is just paying attention to this area right here that lets you know what is actively under that boat and something that you can target immediately with the RTS window um, some people use it some people don't for me I always use it I like that setting I like getting that additional information for some people it may throw them off a little bit um, whenever you're looking at it if you are not familiar with that screen it may look like a bunch of I don't know interference or just mumbo jumbo on the screen but the more you practice with it, the more time you spend on the water, the more time you use your electronics when you're at home and going through the settings and just viewing and taking a look at things as they scroll across the screen, the more you can become 
more effective with understanding what is on the screen and how to use it to your advantage, guys. So take some time, learn these techniques that we're talking about, and as always, join us every Tuesday and Thursday. Oh man, look at that right there. Guys, I'm sorry, but uh, I need to go and fish that. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is what you're looking for on your screen. That is a school of fish under the boat. Remember to always take the time to go through here, play with these settings, get used to these things. Right now it is our off season, so it's a great time for you to go ahead and plug these units up in your home. Just spend maybe like 30 minutes, or 5 minutes, 10 minutes, something, so that you can continue to better yourself so whenever you get out on the water, you will be ready to get out there and go, guys. All right, I really appreciate you guys continuing to support the channel. Please make sure you hit the like button if you guys want to continue seeing these type of videos, the tutorials, the tips, tricks, things like that. If that is something that you like, make sure you hit the like button. Share these videos and make sure if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, guys, and continue supporting the channel. All right, guys, I will see you on the next one.